everyone and welcome back to the other side and welcome to my first Valentine's Day video. So I hope that this looks okay because I'm uh, using a new way to film uh, like here because I usually have my camera on my bed on my laptop um, and then that's on like my selfie stick thing which is in my pencil holder um, but that is usually so annoying to like try and like stay still and stuff so I've come up with a new way to film so that you guys are more steady and um, yeah so hopefully this looks okay I know I'm a lot closer than I normally am but uh, this way is like so much easier and so much better to film because it is just so much more stable and it means the camera won't fall over um, so right now you're on my bedside table I moved my bedside table over to here I've moved my bed back and so you're on a couple of my Harry Potter uh, illustrated version books <laughs> um, and then you're also on uh, you're sat on my light box um, which uh, has like my name on it like you know those light boxes that um, that well they're a box and they light up and you can put like set words on it um, so I have one of them and you're sat on that um, so this is what happens when you don't have a tripod you have to improvise so um, I know I keep on saying I need to get a tripod and I really do um, but anyway so I hope you guys uh, like my Valentine's Day background I love it so much I think it's so cute um, I got this Valentine's Day decorating kit uh, from the Costume Box website, of course, which is where I get pretty much all of my decorations. And I just want to go all out this year for my backgrounds um, for this channel, so that's why um, I have this, and I just love it so much. And of course, got my lights, and um, I have these pink hearts, and I just love it. And I have a sign that says Happy Valentine's Day, and this isn't even all of my Valentine's Day decorations. I have like like quite a few more that I might add to this set um, if I can like add anything anywhere I don't think I can but if I will and if it looks good then I might add them but yeah I am just in love with this background and uh, it's more of a background than a set um, but uh, I just love it and I think it's so cute um, also I'm wearing my uh, Mickey Mouse ears from Disneyland because I just thought they're pink and it would just go with uh, the background and I have pink lipstick on and I have a pink phone case so I'm all pinked out today um, also if you're wondering what lipstick I'm wearing I'm wearing uh, one of uh, Rihanna's um, her Fenty, Fenty Beauty uh, is it Fenty Beauty or Fenty? I think it's Fenty, Fenty Beauty uh, lipsticks um, and I love it I don't know what the name of it is um, it's over there my lipstick but it's the pink one uh, of her lipstick collection so um, and I just thought it was perfect for these videos so anyway on with today's video today I am going to be telling you guys a story called pink hearts so pink hearts is a scary story about a teenage girl who starts to receive love notes from a secret admirer each one is sealed with a distinctive heart sticker and she begins to wonder who her secret admirer could be so uh, let's begin the story. Uh, when I was 13 years old, my parents moved to the city and I started attending a new school. I was very shy at that age and I didn't have any friends. It took me a while to fit in. Uh, the other girls seemed much more mature than I was. A lot of them seemed to have boyfriends and I had never kissed a boy before. I was really, uh, I wasn't really used to any kind of male attention. Whenever a guy smiled or winked at me, I was either extremely embarrassed or convinced that he was playing some kind of joke on me. I never thought of myself as beautiful and couldn't believe that any guy would find, would really find me attractive. Uh, then one day, I found a note in my locker. It was a small blue envelope sealed with a little pink heart sticker. Inside was a piece of paper. It simply read, I think you're beautiful. I, I was genu genuinely... <laughs> Uh, touched. It was so sweet and innocent. I wondered who had sent it, but I didn't really have any idea how to go about finding out. I was stuck. Uh, uh, I stuck the love note between the pages of one of my school books and began to daydream about my new secret admirer. Could it be the cute boy who let me borrow his pencil in math class, or was it my love partner who always made me blush bright red 
when he smiled at me. Perhaps it was the boy in my history class who shared his book with me when I forgot to bring mine, or maybe it was the tall brooding boy in the year above me uh, who wrote po poetry and spent most of his time riding motorcycles. I was ex as excited as any other teenage girl, uh, filled with dreams of puppy love holding hands and maybe a first kiss. Whenever I was feeling sad, I took the note out and read it again and always made me smile. A few days later, I opened my locker and discovered another note. It was in a, in a small purple envelope and was sealed with the same little pink heart. Trembling with excitement and anticipation, I carefully peeled it open and unfolded the paper inside. It read, it read you're so lovely. I held the note to my chest and sighed with delight. For the rest of the day, I walked through the school hallways with a goofy grin plastered all over my face. Finally, someone really liked me. It made me feel so special. I wanted to scream it, at, scream it from the rooftops. Of course, I was too embarrassed to tell anyone and kept it all to myself, tucking the note safely into my school journal. I spent the rest of the next few spent the next few days trying to figure out who my secret admirer could be, uh, but I didn't have a clue. Obviously, I knew it, that it had to be someone in my school, but who? All I could do was hope it was someone I really did like. A week later, there was another small envelope waiting in my locker. It sealed with with the same pink heart. It read, I am thinking about you always. As time went on, I couldn't contain my curiosity. Uh, I started daydreaming in class and stopped paying attention. One day during history, I was so, uh, during history class, I was so busy thinking about my secret admirer that I didn't realize the teacher had asked me a question. When I snapped back to reality, the teacher turned to the rest of the class and said, she's not listening to a word I'm saying. She must be in love. Uh, they all burst out laughing and I was so embarrassed, I went bright red. When the next love note appeared in my locker, it read, You smell like love itself. That's kind of creepy, not going to lie. Uh, ha, huh, I didn't know how to take that. I actually smelled like a combination of shampoo and deodorant. Uh, is that what love smells like? I tucked the note away with the others and waited eagerly for the next one. I didn't have wait too long. Uh, I didn't have to wait long. The next morning, there was another envelope with the telltale pink heart. It read, I want to taste you. Oh my god. That was kind of creepy. The next note was even creepier. It read, I am watching you always. Suddenly, uh, having a secret admirer didn't seem like so much fun anymore. He was beginning to sound like a stalker. I didn't know what to do. There was nobody I could talk to about it. As the days passed, my sense of uneasiness began to grow. I started to see pink heart stickers everywhere. It was beginning to freak me out. In the morning when I, uh, when my mother drove me to school, there was one stuck to the windscreen of our car. She didn't know where it had come from. Once after I went to the toilet in school, I came back out and was washing my hands at the sink. In the mirror, I noticed a pink heart on the stall. I was sure it hadn't been there when I went inside and I hadn't heard anyone come into the toilet whilst, while I was in there. I got in. I got to the point where I dreaded seeing one of those pink heart stickers. I was a nervous wreck, but I was afraid to confide in anyone. So I did the only thing a painfully awkward and embarrassed teenage girl could do. I suffered in silence. Uh, then things got really bad. One day I came home from school and was horrified to see a plain white envelope had arrived in the mail. It was sealed with one of the dreaded pink hearts. Uh, now he knew where I lived. With trembling hands, I peeled off the sticker and opened the envelope. Inside, there was a picture of a grown man naked from the waist up. In his right hand, he was holding a knife. There was a note uh, to it read, I bet your blood tastes like strawberries. Oh my god. I screamed, then I noticed something in the photo that filled me with horror. The man had taken a picture of his reflection in the mirror, but he had an obscured face. However, he had forgotten to cover his tracks. Reflected in the mirror was a framed picture hanging on the wall behind him. Worst of all, I recognized the man in the framed picture. It was my history teacher. And that is the end of the story, which is so creepy. I think the most creepiest note she got was definitely, I want to taste you. That is so creepy and just ugh. And um, then I bet your blood tastes like strawberries like 
that is just so gross and just ugh, that is terrifying so i hope that you guys enjoyed this super creepy scary story um so let me know if, look, in the comments below if you've had ever had a secret admirer before i never have i really don't want to because i think they're kind of really creepy so that is just so creepy that it's her that uh, was her history teacher. That is like just so, ugh. Anyway, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this story. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you all tomorrow for the second Valentine's Day video. So I'll see you guys then. All right, bye guys.